up in my jeans, ayy Your boy a buzzer, no, he can't fuck with me, ayy I'm a soldier, I'm gonna keep his ass asleep, ayy What's going on guys, welcome back for another episode of R32 build as you can see It's been a while, um, it's been a while since I recorded a video, it's been a while since I just pick up the camera You know, it's, it's, it was tough, um, it's, I still not used to it, start recording stuff, you know, sometimes I get, I get so into the car and I just forget, you know Um, today is a special episode we are gonna be upgrading our brakes we're gonna be installing um Akibono brake kit um here's the, all the parts as you can see uh, I already painted it it, it came like this um, as you can see it's black white and then I paint matched it uh, with the engine bay and also I painted I uh, got a stroke bar uh, from ultra racing it was a white, it was plain white, so I decided to paint it and paint match it, you know. It looks dumb, still, I didn't install it properly, but it looks good. So yeah, um, today's episode, um, we're going to be installing our 32 kit, uh, Akebono uh, brake kit. Um, here's our brackets, that's the front, and that's the rear. Um, this is this kit is for 300 ZX. Um, it was pretty uh, basically 300 ZX. It's almost identical to this, um, except the front. Um, I guess uh, 300 ZX uses aluminum uh, knuckle, and or in our case we have a cast iron knuckle, and it didn't really work out uh, as planned. Um, it needs to it needed a lot of modification needed um the kit was from uh z1 motorsports it was like 250 bucks for the front rear for the bracket it came uh it's gonna come in with the instructions here comes the instructions but it didn't really help so we don't need that um, uh, this brakes from uh, Nissan Nissan 370Z Sport package, or whatever, or Infinity G35, or whatever um, brakes from them from the mirror. Here's the rotors. It's huge. Here's my hand. There you go. I'm gonna give you a comparison with the stock. Never mind. These are rears, I think. Um, I think these are years, but I'm not sure. Here's a comparison. There you go. This is pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks good. I don't have a um, brake pads yet, but it looks good. So, yeah, let's get back to this. So, uh, let's start from the front. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it needs to get adjusted. Uh, I mean, trim it. You need to trim the calipers. Let's see if you can see it. As you can see, I trimmed the calipers there. Ah, I don't wanna scratch this fresh paint, so I'm gonna show you on my, on my caliper. You can see better on this. As you can see, I trimmed the. Uh, you need to trim here and here, so that way, um, so that way it sits. So basically, you have a uh, space here. Otherwise, it's gonna, it's not gonna line up with the holes. You're gonna sit like that. So, not nothing major. It's easy. Uh, five minutes of grinding, and you can knock it off. So now here's the big problem. So here's my extra bracket from my eBay. I needed to get a, some dummy. Uh, as you can see, like there you go. And here is the Z1 Motorsports modified one. As you can see, the width is different. 
So if you bought it from, uh, if you bought it, if you're trying to do R32, this is for R32 uh, GTST, the rear wheel drive. Front wheel drive is going to be different, so remember that. Um, for example, if I put it there, as you can see, it has too much space. And the, that's where the bracket bolts from here and here, uh, the caliper bolts. Uh, so it basically, it's spaced out to the front. So in our case, we need it to be flat with this original mountain holes. So it had to be flat. So what I did was, I just chop it off. It had a like, it was this much, I think. Yep, it was this much for it. I chop it out, and then I had this grinding machine. I just grind it pretty nicely, uh, smooth. And if I put it here, it's almost the same. So, uh, if you can see, it's almost the same. So, it worked perfect. So, basically, that's what you gotta do. Uh, there you go on this it was basically the same thing as you can see uh, for example if I wanted to do, do do on this one I had to cut it right here so it's gonna be exactly with this same thing here same thing on this side and then just grind it pretty nice and smooth and make sure it works fine and then voila you got it so front uh, we got the fronts. I'll show you how to install the everything later on. But well, I just want to go through and explain what you will have to do. You will need a different bolt for the front uh, mounting the caliper. It was M M16 by 1.5 and 50 millimeter long. Um, the one, uh, the one. Uh, Z1 Motorsports uh, gives you, which is they give you all the, with the bolts, washers and stuff, uh, it's too long and we need too short, so we need that, we need of course uh, brake rotors and rear rotors and here's our rear rotor um, bracket. This one, uh, the bracket, we don't have to do anything, it bolts up perfectly fine. But the now problem is uh, we need a lot of trimming on this. So as you can see, okay, I'll show you on this one. There you go. As you can see, I chop it up quite a bit. Uh, here's the uh, bracket, some brake line hold, brake line holder bracket, whatever uh, bolting part. We don't really need that. So uh, this thing is hit. <coughs> The bracket so I basically had to chop it off and then that's the issue we need this on uh, I do have a picture for reference so as you can see that's how it needs to get trimmed in order to fit the bracket so um so I still have to do it on the rear so so I'm gonna show you, go ahead and show you guys how I'm trimming the rears and then show you basically see if we can install it and we'll go from there. So yeah, let's keep going.
installed it. Uh, sitting really nice and good. Twisting. Um, it's almost even between the spot, as you can see. Uh, that's as perfect as you can get. Um, so yeah, we installed it. Now I know what I'm gonna do on the other side, because as you can see, I already fit it. Um, one thing also, uh, let me remove this real quick and show you what else I did it with the knuckle. As you saw that where they fit it, also what I did was, um, right here, I trimmed the knuckle ear. As you can see it was big, I just trimmed it a little bit, not not in too much, but um, I do have to go ahead and, and uh, put some paint in there so it's not going to rust uh, since I already uh, cleaned it and paint not every single suspension component so uh, I have to go and go ahead and paint that so let me go ahead and do this off camera and then we're gonna go ahead and start trimming the other caliper and then install the other caliper so yeah Alright guys, uh, as you saw, we are finished installing the front and rear. Here are the fronts. As you can see, also you have to uh, trim it or um, basically delete the dust shield, which is that's what I did. Uh, it sits nice and good. You have no hitting or anything like that. So we are finished um, now what i have to do basically get the lines and uh just put the brick show uh, brick food and bleed them i will have the bricks and here are the here's the rear as you can see finished too looking good i still have to paint that so there you go Oh, I have that parking brake. So yeah, here you go guys. Um, we are finished installing the um, finish installing the uh, brakes. If you know what you're doing, um, it's probably gonna take you a day, which is seven, eight hours, it depends. Um, uh, it depends on your knowledge, of course. Uh, depends on your um, experience doing all this kind of stuff, you know. Um, for me, uh, it was just a lot of uh, figuring it out. I tried to Google it from internet, no idea. No one saying anything about it. They're just saying, oh, you have to do this, trim it, or you just didn't massage it. Uh, that is not even close anything to massage it. So, um, so yeah, guys, um, if you got any question, Leave a comment, subscribe, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.